Okay, perfect. So what you should be seeing is the Dynamics 365 Sales Hub. Um, so this is going to be um, a part of customer engagement. It's an app within customer engagement, which also includes um, project service automation. In this particular example, we're looking at a lead record. <clears throat> at the top of my screen, I wanted to highlight the lead to opportunity sales process. This is known as a business process flow. Essentially, we have different stages here, quality, develop, propose, and close. Within each one of these stages, if I click on them, they have uh, specific steps um, <clears throat> that can be configured um, just to assist the salesperson with qualifying this lead into an opportunity record. Um, so I'm using some of the terminology within Dynamics 365 sales, such as lead. So when I'm talking about a lead, this is maybe someone we haven't quite done business with yet, or maybe we have done business with them, but this is like a brand new thing that we're talking about here. Um, <clears throat> and then we also uh, have opportunities. Think of an opportunity as like a pre-transactional um, record and an opportunity. Uh, you can create quotes associated to an opportunity as well as adding products to an opportunity. <clears throat> so of this uh, lead to opportunity sales process here, process here, um, we are able to add these stages to, uh, you know, across different entities. So this first stage of qualify is on the lead entity that we're looking at right now. And then develop, propose, and close. These are all on the opportunity entity. <clears throat> all of these stages are completely customizable based off of your sales process and your needs, as well as the steps beneath the, each stage are completely customizable as well. So <clears throat> on the lead, we get prompted to enter contact information here in this little contact window. As I scroll down, we also are prompted to enter whatever company information we have at hand. Additionally, something that I really want to highlight is the timeline on this record. So the timeline is where we are managing our sales activities as well as our um, maybe notes. If you have any notes with attachments you want to add for this specific record, um, as well as uh, system. So system posts, these are automatic um, <clears throat> kind of uh, records that are saying what action the system has taken. For example, we have a system post down here to say that my user BCS demo created this lead. Well, I called it John Utah at first, but renamed it John Bean. Um, so that's a system post. Um, to add a note, it's fairly easy. You can click on this area that says enter a note. And then I can add a title as well as add the body here. And then I can also um, add an attachment if I need that listed on my lead record. <clears throat> um, additionally, we can manage our sales activities um, against this particular lead record. So that includes phone calls, tasks, um, emails, and appointments. So here I have a phone call just kind of showing that we got an initial call from uh, John B. Um, and he's interested in a shuttle release here, or a shuttle lease. <clears throat> and then um, if you kind of move your eyes up here within the timeline, um, I basically uh, sent an email out directly from the CRM saying, hi, John, thanks for your interest in our shuttle services. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. And then I also got a response from John here. <clears throat> saying, you know, thanks for, uh, I, you know, I would like more information on can we chat today. Uh, and that so will show that, up in your, um, in your Outlook account as well as the CRM account. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, so I can go over here really quickly and you can see that same exact um, kind of back and forth here. You know, there's that original email that I sent out. There's John's response here. So that's all synchronized and tracked within the CRM. <clears throat> and then, you know, same thing with an appointment. I created this appointment to discuss price on within my timeline here, just by clicking this you know, plus button and then appointment. And that appointment also shows up in my <clears throat> Outlook calendar here. There it is. So there's my appointment that also synchronized as well. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, as I'm, you know, let's say that 
came to a decision and, and John is ready to kind of push through when we're ready to, to make some more moves to getting this sale. At that point, we would go ahead and qualify this lead. So we would just click this qualify button here, which would convert this lead into an opportunity. And once it gets to an opportunity, we can add products and, and a quote if we need to. Um, something that I want to note, since I did <clears throat> create this lead for an existing contact and an existing account record, um, I'm not going to have any new records created, but if this uh, contact and company did not already exist in the system, the uh, Dynamics 365 would create the contact record and account record based off of the data entered in the contact and company um, area within my form. So I can go ahead and click qualify here. It might throw up a issue, uh, duplicate detection. I hope it doesn't, but there we go. So this is just telling me, hey, we found a matching account for John Bean Company, an existing contact as well for John Bean. Uh, do you want to use, do you want to link this new opportunity to these existing uh, accounts and contacts? I'm going to say yes. If I didn't want to and I wanted new records created, I can leave these blank um, and then the new records would be created. So <clears throat> I'm going to click continue here. And um, we're going to have my opportunity loaded and we'll give it just a second here. So here is my opportunity record here. Um, we are, uh, we had our topic be brought across, our contact is connected here, as well as the existing account that was connected. Um, <clears throat> and then my data that I entered uh, in this first qualify stage for purchase timeframe um, was also brought over, same with budget amount and purchase process. Additionally, look in the center screen, I still have my time, timeline here listed on my opportunity record. Um, <clears throat> This timeline is going to be available on most every single record that we have in the system. So you'll have a, a specific timeline for the opportunity as well as the lead record and accounts will have their own timeline and contacts will have their own timeline. <clears throat> Same thing with quotes and orders, but the timeline isn't used as frequently on those particular um, entities. So from here, I can continue to kind of work through my business process flow, um, you know, based off of these steps here and kind of mark things off and push this to the next stage by clicking on next stage. Additionally, I can add my products here. Um, so I have to pick a price list, um, which I can do. do and so to, get to the next stage, let's go from, um, from the, from the. So from here, <coughs> excuse me, I can add, a product and I can add an existing product here and this is all um, stuff that was uploaded previously um, you know my product information so I have my test product here's my price um, I can go ahead and save and close and now my product is listed here my detail amount kind of gets up my detail amount kind of gets up written out here so at this stage, let's say we're in my proposed stage, I'm ready to go ahead and propose a quote. I can click on quotes here. <clears throat> I can add a new quote. So uh, something that I want to note is on this quotes little area here on this quotes tab, th what you're looking at here is called a grid. So I can create multiple quotes for one opportunity um, <clears throat> if I, you know, feel the need to do that. Um, but usually it's going to be, you know, one quote at, you know, one quote at a time, or maybe if you're revising something. If you're revising a quote, um, you'll see the history of those revised quotes in this little grid here. So I can click on plus new quote. That's going to open up my quote record and bring over all of the details that I had on my opportunity here and my products as well. I can, you know, export this to PDF, send it out. And the usual process is, you know, you're going to activate your quote, which is going to lock everything down. And then once you're ready and let's say that this quote was approved, you can create your order easily just by clicking this create order button. <clears throat> From there, if you're integrated with Business Central, um, we do have a um, integrated with Business Central. Um, we do have a, um, a, there's a button on the order record that says to uh, confirm the order, which would push it over to Business Central. <clears throat> 